Okay, it's time for the Battle of Shapi, which is actually one of my favorite battles in the way story mode. In pretty much every game. The Anwei was dead. After successfully avenging his loyal retainer's death, Cao Cao set out in search of a path forward. A path of ambition. A path that would quickly and effectively lead him to domination of the land. A path that some would deride as cruel and ruthless. Cao Cao was determined to walk this path alone if necessary. He returned to Xu Zhang, and together with his new strategist, Jia Xu, he began plotting his next move. Yuan Shao and his massive army in Hebei. The self-proclaimed emperor Yuan Shu. Jia Xu determined that Cao Cao must solidify his current position before taking on these two mighty foes. Just then, Liu Bei, who had taken Tao Qian's place as ruler of Shu, came in search of help. He had been attacked by none other than Lu Bu, who had been under his protection. Cao Cao gathered Xia Ho Duin, as well as Liu Bei and his men, and set out for Xia Pi in Shu province. Liu Bei, Lu Bu, and Cao Cao. Among the fields of Shu province, three heroes of the age would soon be engaged in heated battle. So it's kind of confusing. Sometimes they say um, Yuan Shao was in Huabei, and sometimes they say Hebei, and I'm not sure which is historically correct. I hear that Lu Bu's officer, Chong Liao, is a man of honor. We must act accordingly. You're gonna pay for stealing our brother's land. Everybody, no one touches Lu Bu except for me. The enemy army has taken up position in the castle. We must find some way of luring them out. I never thought our lord would offer to help Liu Bei. Cao Cao's clearly planning something. He would never help another without there being something in it for him. Alright, I think that's every officer. Lord Cao Cao, I thank you for helping me recapture Shu Province. Lu Bu is an enemy to us all. It was something I would have done with or without you. In any case, I am grateful for your assistance. I do not engage in actions that do not provide me with some benefit. This battle was the perfect opportunity for me to obtain valuable officers. For example, somebody like the Honorable Guan Yu. I... Well, it is about time I move out. Everybody, we march! Lay siege to Xiapi Castle. Lu Bu's time is up. Right then. I think we should go secure the Western Gate. I also really like playing Shao Yu. My lord values your skill in the battle. This is your chance to prove that he is right. I have nothing to prove to you. My blade's only purpose is to keep my brother safe. Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall seek! I don't really have the most interest in this style. It's basically just spammy X news, but it's worth it. It's well worth for me. And it is your time is up. 
retreat is not necessarily to lose. Most impressive, I must say. I could stand to learn a thing or two from you. The enemy is holed up in the castle. How can we break them down? If I remember rightly, there is a floodgate in the If we can break it, we can flood out the castle. I marvel at your skills! Just as we thought, they're after the blood game. Get up! Here is where the real battle begins. We must claim Lu Bu's head. Don't fall behind, Guan Yu! My lord! Lord Chaho Dwin, the flood attack has worked, but your wounds. I am fine. The gates are open. We must attack. So I believe Zhang Liao advances here. Once you go in front of Captain Castle. This is here. My lord, oh, the enemy no. units to the north are on the move. They are heading straight for Lord Cao Cao. I probably could just rush me too, but... Target is Cao Cao. I have no quarrel with you. Step aside. <laughs> I'm afraid you will only make it as far as me. I never thought I'd be able to play opponent. Your time is up. I had no idea Lu Bu had men of such might in his floor. Another yeah, victim has fallen before this at once.
Someone tie this animal up. Kill me? I would never presume to do so, Your Highness. I tried to have you killed. I would have no right to complain. <laughs> you are a wise man, Your Highness. If it is your wish to kill me, I will not stop. You frighten me. You shed no tears for your allies. You side with the enemy if necessary. And when someone is not needed, you get rid of them. Even if it is me. A country needs its people. And without a ruler, the people are lost. Your Highness is needed. At least, while I am alive, that is. Your presence allows me to move freely. To walk upon my ordained path. To build a new and better land.
Lord okay, Sao as he, then we ice precise our Lord under very well. 